Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode, uh, we're going to be continuing the teardown of uh, the little 74 Volkswagen, aka the Rust Bug, and um, definitely finding a lot of rust, so I guess it's a fitting name, um, but we're working on the interior tonight, so if you guys want to see how to remove some of these interior pieces on some of these old Volkswagens, stay tuned. folks so here is under the seat and there's a little pin right there that holds on this slide track and the way you control that is right over here now luckily for me these are kind of sticking in place so now you can see that pin is slowly coming back. There, it just popped back in. So what you can do is just pop that spring off right there. And then it should stay open. Or as mine is, you know, rusty and kind of uh, sticky. Should stay open. And then... Once you get, I'll set the camera down. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but here, let me try and get a different camera angle for you. All right, see this little tang right here I'm kind of pointing at with my finger? You gotta push that down and then you can just slide the seat back. And you can kind of see right there the track that it rides in now mine are well let's face it completely gone so I'm gonna have to add those to the list of things to do but it should just slide right on back out and then you can lift the seat out so again we hit this little tang seat should come back most all of the way we push down on that And that pin wants to keep coming back. All right, folks, let me go get a pliers, pop that spring off quick. Well, I don't know where it went, but it definitely disappeared. All right. I see what it is. There we go. Huh. There 
There we are. Just like that, the seat's out. All right, so here's how this seat contraption works. In like that to lock the seat into place and back out. So on my spring, it hooks on there and right there. So just like that, and then it hooks out here. Now, when you're removing this part, you pop this little clip off to the side. I'm not gonna do it right now, but then you're able to pull this little rod out of the mechanism here, and that frees all that up. So right here is that tang you had to push down, and I'll show you over on the seat what that connects to or what that catches if you don't push it down. So right here this little tang that's on the bottom of this slide if you don't push that piece down that's why I had to slide a little forward push it down because it was caught in there already all right so on this back seat you can see all these seat belt hookups leaves mouse nests and everything else um, so the bottom seat I'm guessing went into this here lovely seat rail um, but it was just kind of laying in here because when somebody removed the engine they did all of that um, the only way I can figure to get this backrest out is there is a 17 millimeter bolt right there I'm gonna hit with my little uh, impact driver and then that frees that up so I can slide this up and then tip it forward. And on that side, there's just a pin that the seat slides in. So let's give this a go. There you have it. Just like that. Pop it off of that side. Ew. Mm. Lovely. So right there is where that bolt went through bolt that seat bench in and then it hooked right up on these and then on this side it's not a nut it's just a pin that that seat goes on and then up top it just hooks there all right yeah it's kind of nasty up in here. <clears throat> Lovely. Spiders. Rat turds. Mmm. Mmm. All right. All right, folks. So this gives you a good shot without the seats in. I mean, you can see my shop floor through on that side. Down in here, below these leaves. Um, this interior is pretty trashed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start tearing this out. Just throw my mask on, throw on some tunes. It's kind of nasty. Is it well? It's not even kind of nasty. It's real nasty. Uh, but I'm going to get all this tore out. And then I guess that'll be it for tonight's video. But I guess we removed some seats. Showed you how to remove that back bench. 
and the front seats uh, both the driver side and the passenger side are the same so let me bring you back after I get this all cleaned up and we'll go from there all right folks there it is as you can see it's pretty rusty um, pulled out all my seatbelt stuff um, on both sides finding more and more patch panels um, I don't know how well you all can see this without the lighting but up in here in the tow boards on the passenger side and down here uh, this is all patched together along with all of this um, as you can see over there on the on the driver's side there's just isn't any floor um, still got the dash in here and the front carpet I pulled it up some um, I figure I'll wait to take the dash out I got to do some reading on that so I'm not cutting wires and doing things like that but um, yeah all right folks I'll bring you right back all right folks so as we continue on this project um, we removed the seats and basically all the interior stuff I could get out at the time being uh, my plan is is once I get this completely gutted in here to lift the body off of the uh, torque tube and everything like that and replace the floor pans and find any rust holes that I need to fix up quick and get them patched up again hopefully I'm not going to do too much on the outside of this. I know there's some rust spots and whatnot, but I'm just going to try and clean it up and keep it kind of rough looking. That's my goal right now. And then someday maybe down the road, um, yeah, paint it, do it up nice. But as of right now, no. Um, so yeah, this thing is definitely fitting its name of the rust bug. Is that a license plate in it? Ah, I don't know. So people really patch this thing together up here. Um, we'll get into more of that once I get the, uh, the body off. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And as you can see, I'm kind of dripping with sweat. It's another warm night down here in the south. Um, some of my upcoming videos, uh, I think I'm going to be removing the glass and get all the glass out. And then I think I'm gonna tackle this dash in here and this front carpet and the fuel tank. And yeah, I still gotta hit the uh, rear fenders, but now I got access to them so I can hit it with some uh, PB blaster or some sort of penetrating oil to get them bolts out easy. So maybe it might be that coming up and then the glass or the glass and then that. But once all that's done, um, take the dash the rest of this interior stuff out fuel tank and this nasty mouse nest full headliner Whew. Uh, and then it'll be pulling the body off the chassis and seeing what we're really working with patching up everything we can down there um, getting stuff done up and cleaned up and doing what I can but as far as tonight I am whipped so i think i'm gonna go have a few cold snacks cool off take a shower and we'll be back at you probably next week all right thanks for watching shaggy's car shop we'll catch you on the next one thank you